guys, and good morning, everybody. The news is in, according to a report in Atlanta, Georgia. The AJC, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, now giving word what the judge has decided. Apparently, Fonnie Willis can decide for her own if she wants to stay or leave the case and take Nathan Wade with her. So we're waiting for more information on this. Welcome to Friday. Dana's got the day off today. Uh, I'm Bill Hemmer, live here in New York City with my friend and colleague in tow. Here Where we go. It's going to be a ride. It, it certainly is. We're getting some very big news yeah. this morning. So good morning, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum, and this, of course, is America's Newsroom. Um, we understand, as you just pointed out, Bill, that, the, that this decision is in. Judge McAfee said he would give himself a two-week deadline. Right. That landed on today. So we have all come to know this judge a little bit over the course of the last couple of months. His name is Scott McAfee. He did decide uh, today, and he gave himself that two-week deadline, as I mentioned. And the decision that he has had to make is whether to disqualify the Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis, in response to allegations that she was dating her lead prosecutor when she hired him. And the accusation is that that was part of a motivation for hiring him, and that then the two took um, some rather fancy vacations together, and that they may have benefited financially from this business arrangement, which it was alleged she created for that purpose. So Donald Trump's team and his co-defendants say this is all a disqualifying conflict of interest. Uh, the case should be thrown out because of it. All these allegations prompting heated testimony. We watched it live. You're going to hear now from one of the first witnesses on behalf of Trump's attorneys. She's a, now a former friend and former colleague of Fonnie Willis. She was emphatic. She said she remembered the timeline and she remembered the action when she asked her questions about Nathan Wade. And do you understand it, that their relationship began in 2019 and continued until the last time you spoke with her? Yes. As it relates to having uh, the 2022 relationship with District Attorney Willis, I want to say because my marriage was irretrievably broken, I was free to have a relationship. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. Well, uh, that is just a slice of what we got from uh, the DA, Fonnie Willis, in Georgia through the course of all of this. We've got analysis from former federal prosecutor Andrew Cherkowski. But first, let's go to Jonathan Seri, who's been covering this case all along in Atlanta. Big morning, Jonathan. Yeah, very big morning. The story is unfolding as we speak. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution is reporting uh, that uh, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has been ordered to either step aside or she has to cut, uh, cut ties with her special prosecutor in the case, Nathan Wade, before uh, the case can go to trial. Attorneys for former President Trump and several of his associates had asked the judge to disqualify the DA from prosecuting the case. They argue Willis's romantic relationship with uh, prosecutor Wade creates a conflict of interest. Willis and Wade have testified under oath the relationship began began after Willis hired him, but Willis also faces challenges outside the courtroom. Take a listen. The biggest risks that Fonnie Willis has are political in nature. She has an election coming up, which is now contested both in the primary and in the general election. And uh, as for the case itself, Judge McAfee struck down six counts against former President Trump and five of his associates, saying the prosecution failed to provide enough details on how the defendants allegedly committed the crimes. Now, if Willis remains on this case, if she remains the chief prosecutor, she'll have to decide whether she appeals that decision on the six counts, whether she seeks a new indictment, or whether she goes ahead and prosecutes the case on the remaining 35 charges. Uh, but again, according to this reporting by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, uh, DA uh, Fonnie Willis has a, uh, has, has a major decision to make, whether uh, she uh, removes herself from the case or whether she cuts ties with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Back to you guys. Okay, a couple of things here, Jonathan. Do you know when the judge will be in court? Will that be today or not? And based on the reporting, I know it's slim thus far, 
Do we know if he gave her a deadline to give him an answer, meaning the judge? Yeah, we don't know about a deadline. Uh, this ruling was uh, issued by the judge outside of the courtroom, entered uh -huh. in the computer system. It has just now appeared, and uh, we are now scouring it along with the rest of you, uh, okay. trying to figure out the details. All right, well, we'll give you some, some space to get that done. Jonathan, thank you with the breaking news. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.